Hello! Welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're learning some advanced vocabulary, so let's get started. Today we're learning these words, adamantly and vehemently. They're synonyms. They mean almost the same thing. Let's take a closer look. You have two forms. You have adamant. Adamant is an adjective, and adamantly is an adverb. It describes a verb. It means very strong, very firm, not changing. And vehement, you have two forms. You have the adjective vehement and the adverb vehemently. Vehemently. It describes a verb. And it means very strong, with a lot of feeling. So we can use both of these words to explain what happened. Remember, Trump went to court and he faced charges. He faced charges in court and he denied the charges. He denied the charges. We can use these words. He adamantly denied the charges. We can say he adamantly denied the charges. Or I can use vehemently. He vehemently denied the charges. Let's talk about pronunciation. Adamantly. Adamantly. The T in adamant is a stop T. Adamantly. You put the tongue up, but you don't release. And it's not silent. I cannot say adamantly. It's adamant. Adamantly. He adamantly denied the charges. Or vehemently. Pronunciation. Vehemently. The H is silent. We don't say V. It's just V. You link the E and the E with the Y sound. V. Vehemently. Vehemently. Again, the T is a stop T. It's not vehemently. And it's not silent. You make a stop T. Vehemently. The tongue goes up. So I can say he adamantly denied the charges or he vehemently denied the charges. Let's practice. Did he adamantly deny the charges? That's right. He adamantly denied the charges. Did he vehemently deny the charges? That's right. He vehemently denied the charges. He said he didn't do it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.